Hey everyone, welcome to another episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we'll be continuing our journey uh, building our front-end UI uh, from the previous episode. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Uh, in the previous episode, we got our UI for signing in uh, up to this far. And basically what we're going to do next is we're actually going to take the field, the, the, the data from the form here. We're going to submit it to the server to authenticate. And we already built the API for all of this. So if we do the right thing on the front end, everything should be working. So uh, before we get started, I want to just increase some spacing between the, the fields here because it bothers me. So I'm going to head over into the code over here and I'm going to do a uh, input and then a margin bottom. 1EM, important. And that will basically sort out our um, issue here with the spacing. So there you go, the auto reload, hot reloading already took care of everything for us. Uh, so all we have to do now is just type in, you know, like for example, Zach at codemy.net uh, and then the password and then it should validate correctly. So I'm going to open up our uh, backend as well, uh, you know, just in case. So we have both. Uh, let me just load that up real quick. All right, so we're going to be sending the request to this uh, controller over here, uh, the sessions controller, create session. Uh, and basically, we are going to be uh, validating and making sure that we have a user. Uh, we pass in the email and everything is, is correct. Uh, we already tested out with, with PAW. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and uh, you know fill this out and wire this up to make this work. Uh, so along the way, we're going to learn a lot of things and we're going to, you know, do a lot of things like, for example, the spinner wheel, uh, you know, to show that it's loading and all that stuff. We're going to do all that. We're going to bake all that in here to make it look good. So I'm going to head over into the code uh, and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the new session um, component. So this is a component that we're using to render uh, the form that we have. And so what we need to do is, um, you know, have an on submit uh, method here, a function here that basically takes care of the submission to the to the you know the the back end for us. Uh, we also have a store that we're going to use. So in here, I'm going to first start by creating a store. So in here, I'm going to start a new folder uh, called models. So um, and in here, I'm going to create a user uh, JavaScript. Uh, so in here is uh, where I'm going to be implementing all the, you know, the user authentication, user creation, and all that stuff is going to go in here. So I'm going to do import um, and then observable, sorry, from MobX. And then, um, and we're going to also going to import action. We always use these two a lot. Um, and then we also are going to import the API. So import API from helpers API, just like that. And we're going to class user, just like that. And then we're going to have uh, observable. We're going to have actually. So for the observable, we're going to do is loading equals false. So initially, we're not going to load anything. Uh, so we always have the is loading, um, you know, observable because we're going to change the state. So like when we're making a network call, we want to set that to true and then we're done, we set that to false. And I implemented this in the contacts collection as well, but we haven't really used it, but we're going to start using it now, uh, you know, moving forward. So what we also need to do is... Uh, we're going to start by implementing a very simple uh, create session function. So create session. And this takes two uh, email password. This takes two uh, arguments. So basically, we're going to pass in the email and the password into here. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get started. And I'm going to head over into our index here. We're going to export the import user from models uh, user. And then here we're going to do uh, user. And so basically we're exporting the user store so we can access it in our application. So as already I have, I have the contact store. So what I'm going to do here is instead of um, just doing this, what I'm going to do is something like this. 
and then do a splat operator uh, on stores. So now I don't have to add a new store to the provider. Uh, I'll just get access as soon as I add it into here. I'll get access to it in my components uh, if I'm observing on them. That is. So um, yeah. Uh, if so, I, now all I need to be able to access that uh, user uh, model uh, is we can do an observer. So I'm gonna import observer from MobX React, just like that. And here we're going to do observer. So actually, um, in the new version of MobX, we have to be using inject. So let me just use inject user observer. So I'm going to add the inject into here as well. All right. Uh, so now we should have access to the user uh, in here. Uh, it should be working just fine. All right. So now um, what we're going to do next is we're going to implement the on submit function. So on submit. Submit form. Just like that. And basically, we're going to hook into the forms on submit and do this dot submit form like that. And so basically, when we submit the form, we're going to get the um, the email and the password. So we need to um, ref this input. So we're going to ref and we're going to use a callback node. And then basically, we're going to do this dot email uh, equals node. And for this one as well, are we going to do a ref node this dot this dot password node just like that. All right, so now we will be able to access these fields uh, using the just the this dot this dot email dot value in our method over here. So here is where we're going to need to call um, our user. So let me just uh, you know get that out. So const user equal this dot props. All right, so in our user, uh, what I'm going to do here is just console dot log email. So you know, we can confirm that everything is working console dot log password. So, uh, you know, once we send the the function in the sorry, the, the arguments in here, they should just output them in the console. Uh, so yeah, nothing much going on over there. Uh, export default new user, just like that. So that should be okay. Uh, so we're, for now, we're not using anything from the API yet, because, um, you know, we're not really doing much, we're just uh, putting it to the log just to get the form all wired up to the model over here. Uh, so here we are in the field, uh, sorry, in the form. So what I'm going to do here is user dot create session. And we're going to submit this dot email dot value and this dot password dot value. So this should uh, submit the data from the form to our model and then our model is going to take care of the networking stuff for us. Uh, so let me just clean up this stuff over here because it's the line length is getting too long and it's complaining. All right, so that should work. Let's give this a shot. So e dot uh, prevent default. So we don't want the default behavior. We just want to take control of everything ourselves. All right. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, all right. So let's try this out. I'm going to head over into the browser, hit reload just to be sure. I'm going to do Zach at codemy.net and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the password. I'm going to go into the console, hit sign in. And there we go. Everything is working. So 
Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. We got everything wired up with our models, uh, with our store. Uh, and so the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be submitting that data to our server and then getting a reply and doing something about that. All right, guys, hope you guys found this useful. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, also become a member to get access to all of our videos. Like the next episodes in this series are not all going to be free. They're all, uh, some of them are going to be uh, for our members only. So become a member and get access to everything we have. Learn React, become great at it. Get a, you know, get the, the job you want or, you know, use it to build a startup you want. Whatever it is your goal is, uh, you know, knowing technology, knowing development is going to help you get there. With that, I'm going to leave you guys. See you in the next episode.